Every day we have like about two people. Some of them, alhamdulillah, they are professional security. Our daily activities significantly increase as compared to outside Ramadan. But we are the, like the third largest masjid here in Northern Virginia area. Sisters are an integral part of MAV since the time of its beginnings in 1999. And I really, really appreciate from part of my, of my heart to all of my volunteers who are coming and helping here. If they don't come one day, I cannot do anything by myself. We have uh, around uh, 25 to 30 volunteers who work here to start packing the food for us and we put it in the warmer. Everything's organized, everything is cleaned. The parking crew makes sure everyone has easy access to the masjid, park responsibly, leave. And you know, mashallah, this is just one aspect of the things that we do in Ramadan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Sayyid Ziawal Haq Hashimi. Uh, we are a volunteer group of morning security in the masjid. And uh, we have uh, about 15 people. They are all doing volunteer this job for our safety and uh, comfortable prayer inside of the masjid. And uh, we have like about 15 people. Their turn is coming like once a week. Like every day we have like about two people. Yes. Uh, they are uh, volunteering in uh, some of them, alhamdulillah, they are professional security. And uh, they are, uh, you know, taking their time and coming in here doing this job as a volunteer uh, for our brothers and sisters safety prayer. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it if you want to do it uh, tomorrow? Sure, tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Abdullah Had. Uh, Ramadan is a beautiful month which sees a heightened workload and a lot of people com coming to the masjid uh, to take benefits. And with that, we have increased programming. Um, our daily activities significantly increase as compared to outside Ramadan. Uh, so the day starts with Fajr. MashaAllah, we are getting a full house. Our masala is packed for Fajr. And that is not something that you see outside Ramadan. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Ashadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Hayya ala salati, hayya ala al falah. Allah 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 Right after Fajr, we have an event uh, or a program called Salah Supplications where we are learning du'as that we can say in our prayers. Uh, so the day starts with that. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Allahumma 
اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Assalamu alaikum my name is Rafiuddin Ahmed I am the executive director of Muslim Association of Virginia Darul Noor Muslim Association of Virginia has only three full-time employees. We have few contractors that we use on part-time basis and stuff, but we are the, like the third largest masjid here in Northern Virginia area. We serve right now during uh, Taravi prayers, we, we get about almost 2,000 people on nightly basis. Every night we are serving iftar to about 200 people. On weeknights, anywhere from five to 600 people are being served iftar. Our strength here at Darul Noor is our volunteers. Do we have enough volunteers all the time? No, we don't. We need you, we need you to get involved. We need you, we need your children to come and volunteer here at Darul Noor. And so we can inshallah continue to grow and make this a model community, not just for Muslims, but to show to the others what Islam truly is. <laughs> مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفارقين من عرب ومن عجم مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم مولاي so as you know brother uh, mav runs on the volunteer and our logo here is um, we are an organization that's serving our creator by serving his creation and sisters are an integral part of MAV. Since the time of its beginnings in 1999, uh, sisters were involved in the idea of the, in starting the community and they're involved in all these com committees and uh, serving the commu community and whatever capacity they have. So for example, I will tell you, social welfare is a major part of our, our organization and we are really big on it because we really, really believe that the, the key to serve Allah's creation is by helping his people who are a little less fortunate or going through rough times. And that those, all those com committees here at Darunur are run or 
I would say, cheered by sisters. And as you know, like any organization of this magnitude, we cannot survive without the help of our integral uh, part, and that is the volunteers of the, the community. Maybe they are brothers, sisters, or youth, but um, massages of this magnitude cannot run solely on the, you know, the, on their employees because we hardly have like two or three paid employees. So volunteers, and they're all really dedicated volunteer for many, many years. And Alhamdulillah, if you need like a volunteer in two hours and you send a message, you will like 10 or 15 sisters will just are willing to help. And these are all sisters who are professionals, who have their families, who have uh, martial arts, their commitments otherwise. But when it comes to the mosque or our I call it my second home, or my, maybe my first home. But when it comes to the mosque, we're always, always ready to serve in whatever capacity Allah has given us. Ramadan, 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 yeah, Ramadan, 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 yeah, Ramadan. My name is Ahmad Sadiqi. Uh, right now we are at Darunur uh, Masjid and Community Center, so we are preparing food for iftar. As you know, today is uh, Saturday. On weekends we accept, expect more than uh, 500 people for iftar only, and it's, it's not including taraweeh, it's just for iftar. So we have uh, around uh, 25 to 30 volunteers who work here to start packing the food for us, and we put it in the warmer, and once we are done with uh, packing and everything, so people come and do their iftar with uh, a date and water. And everybody you see in here working, they're all volunteer. If it is an elderly person, do you see that white bear guy? Or if you can see a young boy who is working in there, uh, they're all like volunteers. And there's no uh, age limit, there's no gender limit. We have females helping us as well in here as the volunteers, and uh, male as well. So I just remembered a hadith of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, uh, wherein he mentioned that one of the seven categories of people who will be shaded on the Day of Judgment by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of them will be uh, those whose heart are attached to the masjid. And mashallah, that every, every event, every program requires a setup and takedown. All of that is mashallah done uh, by these volunteers who truly feel that they have a sense of duty, they have a sense of giving back to the masjid. Um, on a nightly basis, every evening we have iftars, which are all uh, managed by the volunteers. And uh, what drives them, what motivates them, it's the fact that they want to belong somewhere, they want to do something. Um, this masjid provides them with that opportunity uh, to serve humanity at large. Uh, you know, we have uh, food drives every second week uh, and mashallah you know again that is also managed by the volunteers so all these wide range of programs activities events that happen at our masjid volunteers truly are the backbone of all that that we see <laughs> My responsibility is uh, managing uh, our daily operations in, uh, during Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, it's uh, Allah's blessing that we have a great community and our volunteers are more than 30, 30 plus volunteers members. They sign up and they come every single day and they want to work. And they ask me what they can do so they can uh, provide, do something for the masjid, alhamdulillah. So we have the mixer, the main mixer, which is controlling everything downstairs, upstairs, outside, sound system. We have laptop controlling uh, cameras. If you can see we have cameras here, I can see the cameras. Things of that nature that needed for events, for programs, for uh, uh, equipment, you know, uh, batteries, and so on. Well, Alhamdulillah, there's uh, actually, I thought uh, there's going to be less responsibilities, but day by day, there's, there are more responsibilities, and Alhamdulillah, I'm so thankful, and I really, really appreciate from the bottom of my, of my heart to all of my volunteers who are coming and helping here. If they don't come one day, 
I cannot do anything by myself. And Alhamdulillah, they come and still we need uh, volunteers to sign up for our programs, so future programs. After Ramadan, we have other programs like Eid. After Eid, we have uh, so many other things that I can uh, use their, their help, inshallah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. My name is Tokir Hussein. I'm a volunteer here at Dalan Noor. Volunteer here, volunteer work here consists of just doing work, like doing labor, moving chairs, setting up for events. And something big we do here, we prepare food for iftar. Every Maghrib will invite people to come eat in the tent outside. Um, we can also clean up the tent after everyone eats. We have to prepare it for Aisha and Tarawih. And Prepare for tomorrow. Usually, from the beginning of Ramadan, I've come here around 5, 5.30, and I get home around 11 <laughs> You know, we have a nightly event where we host around 2,000 people, right? Which who come for Salat al Tarawih. You go to any other secular organization and tell them that we have to host a nightly event and where we will expect a crowd of 2,000 people. Uh, they will need some meticulous planning, a whole event staff and team and multiple teams to in order to manage that event. But mashallah, our volunteers are so dedicated that they set up lights, they set up tents, they make sure they're heated, everything's organized, everything is cleaned, the parking crew makes sure everyone has easy access to the masjid, park responsibly, leave. And you know, mashallah, this is just one aspect of the things that we do in Ramadan. The most hopeful ayah of Quran will be recited today. And that ayah is in Surah Zumar. قُلْ يَا عِبَادِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَطُوا مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ Say, O oh my servants who have transgressed and went above and beyond in committing sins. Like, you know, you have done istaraf, but that is in your sins against yourselves. Do not despair and do not discount the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will forgive all your sins. You know how coincidental it is that tonight we will be reciting this ayah. And Allah gives us a solution in the Quran. In Nafida Lika Ladikra, Limankana Lahu Kalbun Aw Al Kasam Awahua Shahid. If you want to benefit from the Quran, if you want the Quran to change you, then you have to have a heart that is attentive and you have to listen and pay attention and humble yourself. This is what you need to do with the Quran. And from Asr to midnight, mashallah, there's always something happening uh, at our masjid. And this is what we are talking about on the weekdays and on the weekends, which is Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Alhamdulillah, after each prayer, there is some sort of a program taking place. Uh, sometimes it's for sisters, sometimes it's for kids, sometimes it's for the youth, sometimes it's for the young adults. So, mashallah, um, you know, we get to spend a good amount of time inside the masjid interacting with the community members.
have one of the lowest operations cost to operate this organization. However, we still struggle to make up those funding. Our average cost is about $67,000 per month. Of course, during the month of Ramadan, that number goes higher because our, we increase our services and our expenses increase as well. But we rely on you to help us cover those costs. We have introduced two different programs. We're asking every community member to donate $50 a month. That's less than $2 a month a day. Less than one cup of coffee a day. If you can invest that into your community, inshallah, we can continue to improve our services to our community for those who are in need, and not only that, to educate our fellow citizens in Prince William County what Islam truly is. Inna anzalna gufi laylati al-qadr wa ma adraka ma laylatu al-qadr laylatu al-qadr khayrun min alf shahr تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطالع الفجر